Yo, what's up? Welcome to week three of the NFL season. I'm Caleb. That's Justin. This is Hello. Titans 2, and we're going to be breaking down the upcoming game between the Titans and the Jaguars. First off, though, shout out to our newest patrons, Chris Frizzle yes. and Drake Frimsdorf. Both last names start with F. Is there any kind of relation there? Probably not, but you guys are now patron brothers of Titans 2, so thank you for that. Also, shout out yes, to hang10.com, awesome. sickest Titans apparel out there. I'm wearing my uh, Taylor LeVon shirt because he might be back. Uh, this game, Justin. You got your Mari Gota shirt on. I know. He Will be he be back? <laughs> Anyways, uh, use the no, code TITANS2 for 10% off any order on hang10.com. Yes. And also, we are sponsored by the Backyard Dog Barbecue Sauce. Check out their GoFundMe page in the description below. Help these guys out because their sauce is literally the greatest. It's amazing. Sauce got your tongue? That's, hey. that's, that is the catchphrase. That's that, great. That is the catchphrase. Also, if you want to listen to this episode as a podcast, you can now find and subscribe to Titans Tube on iTunes. Download every single episode as a podcast and listen to us. So go sub, go find us, subscribe, and then give us like a nice, sweet old little rating. All right, Caleb, uh, it's time to buckle up those chin straps, bro, because this next game is going to be a doozy. It is Jags hate week here for Titans fans. So uh, let me ask you, Caleb, how much do you hate those Jags? Oh, so I, I hate them. I hate them so much. I, I hate them so much, I would punch an actual jaguar. And I am all about animal rights and protection. So that that's saying something. I would punch an actual jaguar. I hate the jags Well, so much. okay. Um, well, if you do that, you would die. So let's hope you don't do that. But, I mean, come on, Caleb, it was just a joke. It's it's just a game. We shouldn't hate. There's, there's, there's no reason to hate in the sport of football. Fear leads to anger. Anger leads to hate. Hate leads to suffering. Well, all right then. Uh, Caleb, the Titans are traveling to Jacksonville in this huge AFC South contest uh, a week after Jacksonville just mopped the floor with the New England Patriots. That does not happen very often. So they exacted their revenge in that AFC championship game lost last January. Yeah, as as much as much hate uh, as I have for them in, in my heart, I got to say they honestly look like the team to beat in the AFC with that dominating defense and and dare I say it, <laughs> Blake Bortles. Oh. Blake oh. Blake oh. Bortles. Ah, ah. It, that's it sounds weird when you say those words and it goes into my brain, but but I mean you're right. The, this whole narrative of Blake Bortles being a terrible QB while hilarious at the time is now not funny anymore and really inaccurate because since his playoff run last year when he tore apart the Steelers and then played really well against the Patriots in that AFC championship game, uh, he has done it again last week, throwing four touchdown passes against the Patriots to go along with his 377 passing yards. I don't know how he's doing it, Caleb, because on the injury front in a preseason game, one of their leading receivers, Marquise No Knee Lee, oh. pause for laughter. <clears throat> Hurt is, is out for the season. They have no more Marquise Lee, and Lee has no more knees. I need to really move on from that joke. And also, left tackle Cam Robinson went down with an ACL tear against the New England Patriots. Uh, and Leonard Fournette, their, their leading rusher from last year, had a great season last year, but is battling injuries already. He missed their game last Sunday. Uh, so what's the deal? How how are they getting all this production still? Dude, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know. But the fact is, they are getting it. They are getting production and plenty of production from a variety of pass catchers. In fact, uh, uh, listen to this stat. Last week, Bortles completed at least one pass of 10 or more yards to nine different receivers. Nine different receivers? Nine different is receivers. Is that even allowed? Yeah, I don't, that has to break some kind of rule. Oh, man. Anyways, this is a very well-coached team that gets several players involved throughout the course of a game. That's true, but let's try to narrow it down to, to some of their, their top pass catchers. They've got three notable wide receivers. Uh, without Marquise Lee, they had this man, Keelan Cole, who's really come out of nowhere and uh, is putting on a show. He did last week. He apparently only needs one hand to catch a pass. They also have Dee Dee Westbrook in his second season out of Oklahoma, and also Dante Moncrief, who is 
who was formerly a Colt. And I, I mean, speaking of hate, if there's one thing I hate more than a Jacksonville player, it's a Jacksonville player who used to play for the Colts. <laughs> I, I mean, if he goes that. on to play for the Texans next, I, he might just well be the Antichrist. I'm just going to say it. That's 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 going a little far. Um, I'm sorry about that. I don't honestly. Um, and I also, don't think you're going far enough. At the tight end position, they have Austin Safarian Jenkins, a big bodied tight end who can really make some plays downfield. And uh, let's not forget some of their running backs are pretty good pass catchers too. Uh, I'm especially thinking about Corey Grant, the speedster. He can really do some damage and can create some big mismatch problems for linebackers. Um, so yeah, none of these guys are really household names around the NFL, but they all work really well together and i think their their effective effectiveness and production speaks for itself and i i think all the blame goes to doug marone he he deserves all the blame for making this whole thing work i and i really really miss gus bradley i wish he could come back to coach the jags Uh, i do too man i miss him but you know what the titan secondary is coming off a game where they had to deal with deandre hopkins and will fuller both of whom went for 100 plus yards against us um and that's Besides the point. Uh, But on paper, though, I think this is an easier matchup for our guys Jackson, Butler, and Ryan. I think we have more talent in the secondary than the Patriots do, which is ironic because two of the corners they won the Super Bowl with uh, now play for us. Thank you, Malcolm Butler and Logan Ryan. Yes, thank you, Patriots, for for those nice nice players. Uh, But, you know, if the pass rush can be effective like it was last week and we keep the guys in fresh rotation, Correa coming in there, Landry coming in there with, of course, Landry and Arakpo, uh, I honestly have faith in this pass defense. we got to keep that pressure on Blake Bortles. And also in in our sweep of them last year, Blake Bortles played like a garbage can against the Titans. I don't really know why that is. Call it a matchup problem for him uh, or, or whatever, but but I'm confident that this secondary can get the job done uh, against Blake, old Blake B and his receivers. So come on, bro. Give us that matchup advantage. Give, boom, it, give boom. it to us. Matchup. Ask and they shall receive Justin. Right. Okay, now let's get on to the Jags. Run game versus the Titans front seven. So far through two games, the Titans are 26th in the NFL and rushing yards allowed. You know what that isn't, Justin? Uh, what is it isn't? Uh, it's not fourth, which is where we ranked last year. Frank Gore, Kenyon Drake, and Lamar Miller have all found holes in our run defense this season through two games. This is something we're going to need to clean up if we want to make their offense one-dimensional and force Blake Bortles to beat us with his freaking arm. Well, well, we'll see what the status of Leonard Fournette is for this game as he's dealing with a hamstring injury. Because in my opinion, he is their best offensive weapon. But funnily enough, and it's not really that funny, they don't even need Leonard Fournette. Their offense can run the ball just fine without him. And really, their offense works well without him as a whole. So I, I don't really... I don't think the Jags miss him at all, even though he's their best player on that side of the ball. TJ Yeldon, Corey Grant, I mean, they, they, these are quality backs oh. that can still give them production. Uh, and Bortles himself, you may not know it. Well, you should at this point, but he can be a deceivingly good oh, scrambler God, himself. Man, I, I hate I hate the Jags, dude. I hate, I hate yes, the Jags. Yes, yes, we've covered that. I, yes, it'll lead to suffering, yada, yada, yada. Uh, but, I mean, so if these first two games, though, are any indication, I think you know, the Jags may have us on this one. Well, let's, uh, let's move on to this Titans passing offense versus the Jags secondary. I got to say, Justin, if uh, Mariota ain't healthy and Blaine Gabbert has to start again for us, I, I don't know how we're going to score any points at all. It's uh, Yeah, it's... It's hard to imagine that happening, but, well, you know, uh, Blaine Gabbert did do it last year with the Cardinals, just like he did it to the Titans when he beat us. So, really, you could say that Titans quarterbacks this year were 3-0 and against the Jags last year, so yeah. that's that says a lot. Suck it, Jags. It, Suck it! Yeah! Suck it! Yeah! Suck it! it doesn't, though. It, it, it really doesn't. That was 2017. This is a new season, a uh, new scheme, a new team for Blaine Gabbard, at least. So you can kind of throw 2017 out the window. It means nothing. So we're going to need Matt LaFleur to once again pull some kind of crazy scheme out of his butt to try to move the ball downfield, whether it's the Wildcat offense or doing some trickery, uh, trick plays, fake punts. 
maybe we can get a third special teams touchdown in as many weeks this season. That would be awesome. Some way we're going to have to try to steal some points uh, against this Jacksonville defense. Uh, Because you you know how dangerous they are with their coverage skill guys like A.J. Boo. Boo. A.J. Boo. Nay. Screw him. And the man child, Jalen Ramsey. It's a complete contradiction. It's like like a boo and it's a yay. Um, And obviously, like I said, man child, Jalen Ramsey, one of the best corners in the NFL. And also, their linebackers are great in pass defense, too. Both Telvin. Smith, yes, Telvin Smith and Miles Jack, uh, both quality linebackers who can who can cover as well. Um, so, hide, so yikes! Hide your grandmas, people. Hide your grandmas. If he's not afraid to punch his own grandma right. in the game of football, he, I doubt, is afraid to punch yours. Maybe even on the side of the street. So. That's true. I, I saw him do it. Take once. your grandma. I saw him do it. Walk around. You saw something. You saw Jalen Ramsey punch a grandma. Was it your? Was it your grandma or just like a general specific a grandma? It was definitely a few grandmas. He was just knocked. He, oh, a he few them all out right in front of me. <laughs> he went on a little a little combo there. It's got our receivers have a big challenge ahead of them this week. They're really gonna have to man up and win some of their one on one matchups to get open. And you know what? I would like to see Dion Lewis get a little more involved in the pass game this week. <laughs> Even though I believe our receivers can do it uh, on paper, I'm going to have to give uh, the the advantage to, you know. Yeah, the, the Titans, yeah. baby. That's right. Corey Davis, dude. I mean, did you see his stiff arm? Oh, my goodness. He, Justin, is, he is amazing. It was. I mean, he is amazing. I agree with you. But, no, I, I think uh, Jacksonville gets us in this matchup. We'll oh. Just, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that's – that's stupid. Uh, well, okay, let's see about this last one. Uh, the Titans rushing attack versus that Jags front seven. Caleb, what do you see here? Well, good news for us is that Taylor Lewan is expected to make his return to the lineup. That's why I'm wearing Thank my goodness. Taylor Lewan shirt. No bad days from hangten.com. Used to go Titans do for 10% off. Uh, also, Thanks. Jack Conklin may be back as well, which would be huge for us because we're going to have to find some success running the ball if we want to keep that defense guessing. Agreed. And surprisingly, Jacksonville, after two games, has a middling defense against the run. And by middling, I mean literally middling, as in their 16th in rush yards allowed so far, Uh, which it's kind of strange because when you look at their D-line, they're completely stacked. They've got Yannick Ngakwe and Malik Jackson and Marcel Darius and Calais the San Andreas Campbell. I mean, they're completely stacked along that line. So I'm not sure how any running backs can break through and find any kind of daylight, but they, that they can. They're 16. Uh, well, if we can just get Derrick Henry to run at and through Jalen Ramsey more, as he's done in the past, I think we might be in okay shape. Okay shape. But still, the Titans' run game has been slow to start out this season, as made evident by the team's 3.4 yard average per rush, which ranks 29th in the NFL. Come on. Henry and Lewis, we need those numbers up. Dudes, get the numbers up. Uh, and until, uh, you know what, until they do go up, I, I got to give this advantage to Batsonville because they're fat and stupid and, and this hate week. So I hate Jacksonville Jags. I hate them. I hate the yes, Jags. Yes, stupid. yes, we know. Jags. We know. Stupid. We don't. We all. We all. It's all about the hate. Uh, so let's let's go ahead and move on. So they get three of the advantages in these categories that really don't mean much. But and we get one category. Uh, so we're outmatched according to our biased show, which is a contradiction, Caleb. Uh, but if the Titans do win, what is your key for a Titans victory, and what would be your score prediction, sir? Justin, I will answer both of these for you, sir. Both of your Thank questions you. shall doth be answered by myself at the time of now. Well, Justin, my key to the game this week lies with what we just talked about, the run game. I believe we're going to have to establish some type of run game that is better than the 3.4 yards average we're rushing now. Because uh, if we don't get the run game going, if Jacksonville is able to contain us and make us one-dimensional, their elite secondary is just going to be able to sit on our routes uh, and, and kind of, I feel like, 
kind of own our young receiving core. And I don't think that bodes well for either Gabbert, who, uh, you know what, Gabbert, props to you for winning last week against the Texans. But uh, I don't think you're going to have an easy, as easy a time with the Jacksonville D as you did with the Texans. Or, or a Mariota that's coming back off an injury and a poor start to the season already. So uh, I believe we need to establish the run uh, pretty early in the game to be able to open stuff in the passing game later. What, what would be your score prediction then? If we are able to do those things. You know what? I know I'm going to give the Jags their credit. They're looking like one of the more formidable teams in the NFL, sitting at number two in pretty much all the power rankings I've seen come out this week. Whatever. I hate you, Jags, and we're going to beat you just like we did twice last year. Um, Give us the win on the road in stupid Fatsonville. I'm going to go 23 to 17. You know what? I I think – this, the win last week really uh, bought us a little bit of wiggle room because I, I I don't think that Jacksonville is now a desperate must-win situation and the season would start to look a little gloomy had we gone into this game 0-2. But alas, 1-1, one and one, baby. And in Jacksonville, man, I think they're going to come ready to play with great intensity. They already got their first win in their revenge tour of 2017 against the Pats. They're really wanting to get this win and get this Titans monkey off their back. My key, after having said all that, uh, is more of a general statement key as opposed to one thing specifically, but I don't think we can let the Jags jump out on us early as they did to the Patriots. If, the, if Jacksonville jumps out in the first half, in the first quarter, 14 nothing, 17 nothing, causing our offense to play catch up and play from behind against that defense, I don't think it's going to happen. So this game needs to rest on our defense, being able to control the game. We need to get this game to halftime at like 3-3 to or or 6-7 to or or something like that. We need to keep this low scoring. The defense needs to control this game. And if we can have this uh, game in the fourth quarter, a one-possession game, I like our chances. I like our chances to grind it out. And I'm going to take the Titans to win. Yes. Duh. Let's go. No, No, duh. Uh, in a in a low scoring field goal affair, sixteen to thirteen. I like it. Those are all from field goals. No, that each team gets a touchdown, but it's a lot of. Field I was about goals. to say, is it's, that even possible? Can you hit those numbers just by field goals? No, none of those numbers are divisible by three. Kids, check your math. Well, check it. You learned some math here, too. Titans, too. That's what that. Titans, too. Math, too. Well, Justin, I'd like to hear it. Once again, we're picking the Titans. What's new? We picked the Titans last week, and they upset the Texans. Yo! Now, next yeah. up, it's time for Madden Challenge, Justin. I'm super pumped. I get to finally play as the Titans. It's going to be a good day because it's I really be did garbage. not want to play as the Jags. That video will be uploaded later this week. Uh, if you yes. want to subscribe, sub sub that button. You should want <laughs> but to. That sub the button. But that <laughs> sub Sub. You sub as a verb. Sub the button. Sub the button. Sub it, dude. And become sub a patron. It. And hey, uh, sneak peek announcement. We have things in the workings for our patrons that will be exclusively available to the patrons only. So uh, think about that. Even if it's a $1 donation, break open that piggy bank. We don't care. <laughs> it helps keep the channel alive. Smash uh, so, yeah. some ceramic pigs, dudes. Smash them. Yeah. Um, yeah, follow us on Twitter, all that good stuff, social media junk. It's all good. It's all there. And iTunes. Check out our iTunes. If you hate our faces and hate watching the videos, you can still listen to us uh, on our podcast on iTunes. Is that right? Oh, so start all the way from the top and do the whole episode again. Yeah, yeah, go for it. I forgot I had the next line. I was like, why isn't this guy talking? <laughs> it was my line the whole time. Oh, it was my oh, 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 okay. That's um, good. That's okay. good. That's good banter right. right there. That's that's cheerful banter. <laughs> okay. Okay. Get cheerful, Caleb. <clears throat> Hate man. leads to suffering. Hey, ooh. I sense fear in you, buried church. <clears throat> yeah, if we started from the top, where do you go? You got to – come on. Drake said it. Started from the bottom. Now you're here. You got to move up. You got to move. You got to progress through life. Move. <laughs> that was a burp. Did you like my burp? That's good. Pretty good burp, guys. Rate it you on a scale some... of 1 to 10. Leave it in the comments below. Thank you very much. And have uh, a good day.
I'm walking here. <laughs> Why do you keep saying that? You're saying that last because episode. I'm walking here. I'm walking. I'm here. walking here. I'm from from New York, and I've I've got the cross. And I'm walking right here. On the injury front, either. Marquise Lee, one of their leading receivers, or should I say, Marquise Knee, no Lee, no Knee Lee. Wow. Ow. That, Dang it. That is a butchered punchline, people. Ask and the shit receive. Okay, now let's get on. Hold on. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 26th. 6th. 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 Okay. Yeah. But uh, even, you know, if our res- – though, I believe – okay, <laughs> hold on. Literally middling, as in it is in the middle. What? I'm having issues. I'm breaking down over here. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought you had it. Okay. No. 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 What are you doing? No. <laughs> you starting to make out with the microphone? No. Okay. I feel like you're procrastinating because you haven't <laughs> thought of a key yet. Actually, but that's just, I do have a key. Just me. You know what? My Okay. My key to the game is something. Another... The camera stopped. I don't know what. Damn it. There's... It was after you started talking, but a screen flashed and said, uh, camera stopped recording because something. And then it went away. But I'm recording again. Sorry. Okay. So that's why I'm wearing my... No bad days, Taylor. Go back, get them. Go go back and get them. Go back and get them. That's that's so intimidating. Such an intimidating phrase. Go back and get (laughs) them. Go back and get (laughs) them. Go back and get them. Taylor, you go back and get them. Taylor LeJuan, you son of a bitch. I hear you up there, man. <laughs> I see you been going, going to be pissed off by a cheap shot game one. Now go get him, you son of a bitch. Well, good news for it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to play Halo? Do you want to go play Halo? Yeah, right, I'm right done. Right let's, now? let's go play Halo. Postpone this. We're going to go play some Halo.